2011, I was painting landscapes, still lifes, and at 36, I had a breakthrough. And I started painting abstract after that. And I see my work as a, a documentation of my journey through life that I hope relates to other people's. I think that's what art is about. A documentation of a personal journey. And part of that process is learning to create work that other people can relate to, realize as part of their, their experience as well. About five years ago, I was introduced to Barry and got to know his work through all different media, digital media, as well as painting in different forms. What I find about Barry is that he is concerned with a portrayal of a transcendental moment by way of abstraction. You know, in works like this, we can see the way that he is in, interested in light, not only as a, beauty, a beautiful form in and of itself, but Barry is interested in the portrayal of light and color as a metaphor for transcendent experience. It is handled in a way which communicates an epiphany which communicates a kind of eureka moment when everything is revealed and delicious knowledge of creation and of the cosmos will be revealed to the viewer. There's also a great sense of color. Some pieces are very minimal dramatically, and others you just wonder, what is this guy on? This is some great stuff. Um, some of the works we see drips and dribbles and uh, abstract expressionist echoes. You know, we see things that remind us of Sam Francis and Jackson Pollock. Other times we see very rigid geometric structures that remind us of uh, Rothko and Mondrian and, and uh, the minimalists. So what we have I think is a very beautiful melange of art history presented to ourselves as a kind of epiphanic moment, a moment of epiphany that can convey to us something which figurative art really couldn't. And Gary Lawrence started the gallery about 31 years ago and he's got a great gift for spotting new talent and Barry Mack was one of those individuals. Uh, he came into the gallery years ago and I believe his first piece sold for hundred dollars and now you can see with these paintings in the show uh, these are around four thousand dollars so he's he's had a great career with us. Uh, in addition to that talent, Gary and I have both been so impressed with the passion and commitment that he brings to his work. He's also one of these artists who is right there to help us whenever there's any a charitable event. He always uh, is a demonstrating artist at any of our garden parties, the annual garden party in Sheridan Gallery, and is, is in addition to, I think, a very gifted artist, he's just a wonderful individual. It's an expression of uh, all of our journeys. You know, when people relate to the art, they're seeing something of their own experience in that work. And their interpretation of what they see is often a lot more insightful than my own. I actually learn a lot about myself, my work, and life by listening to other people's interpretations. 